what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to do another experiment but today's uh we're going to be experimenting with color shift pearls so today we're going to be using the this white fender uh, that we used we sprayed some ghost blue pearl and over the black down there and it changed the color over the black but it doesn't change the color over the white it just gives it an effect right now i already have it sanded uh with thousand grit so it's nice and smooth got rid of all that glossy sheen and so we can spray some base coat i'm going to go ahead and uh, start it off by spraying some uh ultra matte black as our base coat and who knows i'll probably leave this section right here in blue just to see what the color shift does over blue but the color shift needs a black base if you spray it over white it won't do much i'll leave a section in white uh, just to show you guys what happens when you spray color shift over white but like i said it needs the black base that way it can re reflect the pearl back at you and uh, not see the, the white base because you know the, the white base is just brighter so you'll see the white and the black base it'll just act as a you know dead end and you can see like the pearls instead of the black and then the blue is just out of curiosity so uh, let me go ahead and get that spray can ready, set you guys in a tripod, and we'll start spraying. <laughs> okay, let's try. I'm just going to do the upper section. All right, so I went ahead and sprayed two coats of black on the top section, and then I just cleaned out the overspray that landed on the white, just to see what the pearl's gonna do on the white. And I went ahead and cleaned the bottom section where the blue is at. All right, for the clear coat that I'm using, this is the Besney. Uh, this is a urethane high solids clear coat, which mixes on a four parts clear, one part activator, which I found on eBay for a very good price. So I'll go ahead and leave the links to this one in the description. So I already have my clear coat mixed on a 4 to 1. And now it's time to add some pearl, which I'll be using the Eye Candy Pigments Sushi Roll. So this is a color shift pigment. And I'll go ahead and leave the links uh, to where you guys can find this one. For this I'll be using one teaspoonful check out this beautiful color so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the links in the description so you guys can find this one uh, which is a color shift pearl but there's many other colors as well. 
so you guys can uh, check them out. So look at that. All right, guys. So just uh, just to recap, uh, in here I have the Sushi Roll Color Ship Pearls by Ikeindy Pigment. The spray gun is the Spectrum HTE with the 1.3 tip, set at 28 psi with two and a half turns of fluid. So right here I'm doing it over black, which is the color that the pearl wants. It wants a black base, but just out of curiosity, we're also going to try white base. And just because I already had the blue base over here, we're gonna spray it over that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so let's see what came out. All right, so check this out. Immediately you guys can see why, but let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, so over the black base, you know, you can see the color change. We guys, like we can see the green right here, which kind of turns more into like a turquoise, more darker bluish, look right here. Looking at it from a different angle, look at that. It kind of turns into a blue, blue-green. While the white, it, it looks orange. Like, let me see if we have an orange inside this color. I don't see an orange. Like, it looks blue and green. But look at that, that's a beautiful effect. Over the white, like, it's not meant for a white. So that's why, you know, it doesn't look at all color shift or anything like that. And down here we sprayed it over, it was blue. So, um, hmm. I mean, it still looks blue. There's some type of green that wants to appear. Let's see, zoom a little bit closer. So there's a little bit of green that wants to show. Uh, but I wouldn't go calling it, uh, color shift it does turn darker on this side but that could be because um it was a black base and then the was it a ghost blue it was a ghost blue but there it is there's a fender and uh, like i said for color shifts uh the base that you're gonna want is black so if you have a black car or you plan on painting your car with some color shift uh, a black base that's the one that's going to work out uh, white you know it it just doesn't work i'll go ahead and turn on the flash and yeah we also have a little bit of glimmer like uh some metallic shines on there it's just beautiful another beautiful color from eye candy pigments and uh look at that Mm -hmm. 
So again, leave me some comments guys. This is such a beautiful color, you know, from a blue to a green or turquoise, blue green, you know, to, you know, just a nice green, some glimmer effect. We'll be here on the white. Eh. I mean, unless you're looking for a peach color. But then again, over here on the blue, you know, this one, it barely wants to show some uh, color ch color shift. But uh, like I said, it's it's the black that makes the whole. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of color change, but it's it's the black that makes the whole color right here from a green to a blue and there's other colors that turn from yellow orange to red or you know many other colors like from the pearls but you guys check out the website from eye candy pigments and i'll leave it pinned in the top comments so you guys can uh just go check them out yourself all right but that's going to be it for today's video guys and i appreciate you guys watching so again, just leave me some comments. Uh, I know I owe you guys some um, cut and buff videos. And also some of you guys, uh, a lot of you guys have mentioned uh, that you guys wanna see a like a silver or a charcoal with some ghost pearls. So I'm, I'm gonna do that. And also I think it was a yellow with, uh, with some pearls over it. I'm not sure what color yet, but uh, just a lot of recommendations and I'm trying to throw out some, you know, colors out to you guys. It's just right now I have limited fenders and I had to let them dry and sometimes like the weather like this. But um, uh, just be patient with me, guys. Uh, I am, you know, like uh, painting fenders and uh, eventually I'm going to end up painting my car. Like every, every color that I spray, I get so excited. I want to spray that color on my car and then I spray another color and it's like, I want to spray this color on my car. <laughs> So it's just so many beautiful colors, you know, hard to choose. But um, there's somebody guy, somebody that said uh, painted like the Harlequin, which is like there's a Volkswagen or there's some cars that uh, have different color panels, like fender one color, door one pa uh, one color, like quarter panel another color, just like that. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool too. I don't mind driving a car like that with all the uh, different uh, pearls and color shifts or whatever flakes. Mm, we'll get to those. But uh, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one. Peace out. Shoo.